Whenever I'm away from my desk and my dual monitors, it feels like an out of body experience. I'm constantly yearning for just a little more screen space. But when you're traveling or commuting, what are you supposed to do? Sure, you can get a portable monitor, but that's kind of bulky and it's redundant when you're at home. Instead, consider the ROG Zephyrus Duo 16, because after a couple generations of refinement, it feels like Asus is starting to really hit its stride with its funky dual screen clamshells. You get a big 16 inch main display with high refresh rates, top notch gaming components, and a 14 inch secondary screen for all of your multitasking needs. And while I certainly wouldn't call it petite, the Zephyrus Duo 16 isn't that much bigger than a traditional 16 inch thin and light, despite packing desktop level performance. Really, the main factor preventing this thing from being a great mobile gaming battle station is its price. That's because starting at $2,500 or closer to $4,000 for our loaded review unit, the Duo 16 definitely ain't cheap. As part of Asus's ROG family of gaming notebooks, the Duo 16 has aggressive styling, though most of the fireworks are only visible once you open the lid. Inside, you get a big 16 inch main display with 165 hertz refresh rate that's available in either QHD plus or FHD plus resolutions. And right below that, you get Asus's signature 14 inch screen pad plus, which increases the system's total display area by almost 50%. And unlike the main display, the screen pad supports touch input. Given the constant demand for bigger and bigger screens, this dual panel setup is a bold move at reducing anxiety caused by limited screen real estate. However, it does come with some drawbacks. Because the screen pad dominates the upper half of the laptop's deck, Asus had to shove the touchpad in the bottom right corner. And barely measuring more than two inches wide, things can definitely feel cramped. Then you factor in the half-sized arrow keys, shortcuts, and media controls, and there's a lot going on in not a lot of space. That said, Asus does its best to make the most use of those areas, with the touchpad pulling double duty as a number pad. All you have to do is tap the shadowy icon in the top left for a second, and voila. Still, there's no hiding the Duo 16's somewhat bulky chassis, which weighs over 5.5 pounds and measures 0.8 inches thick. These dimensions are right on the edge of being able to fit into a typical laptop sleeve, so anyone planning on buying a Duo 16 will want to make sure their bag of choice has plenty of room. On the bright side, despite everything crammed into the Duo, I really appreciate that Asus still found room for a healthy amount of ports, including two USB-As, two USB-Cs, HDMI 2.1, a micro SD card reader, and even a full-size ethernet jack. My only complaint is that because of the screen pad's complicated hinge, the location of the proprietary power plug on the left side can be a bit awkward. I really wish they had found room for that somewhere around back. Okay, now let's move on to the Duo 16's displays, which provide a really compelling one-two punch. The main 16-inch display features a speedy three millisecond response time, and on higher end models like our $4,000 review unit, you even get a mini LED panel that I found puts out an impressive 700 nits of brightness. And that's coming from a screen with a matte finish, which typically lowers light output just a touch. Meanwhile, thanks to a color gamut that Asus claims covers 100% of the DCI-P3 spectrum, the Duo 16's primary display is just as good at pumping out vivid colors in games as it is replicating accurate ones in Photoshop. However, the laptop's real party trick is its 14 inch screen pad plus which sports a 1950 by 550 resolution on the base model or 3840 by 1100 pixels on upgraded configs. Our review unit's screen pad registered 300 nits on our light meter, which isn't nearly as bright as the main screen, but it's more than good enough. To get the most use out of its secondary display, Asus has packed the screen pad plus with a ton of nifty features, including shortcuts to performance and lighting settings, customizable window layouts, and the ability to mirror your phone screen, though that last one can be a little janky. Heck, there is even a secondary number pad tool in case the one built into the touchpad isn't enough. And on the Duo 16, Asus upgraded the screen pad's hinge so that it rests at a slightly steeper angle when open, which improves both ergonomics and cooling. Now, all that is pretty nice, but for me, the best use of the screen pad plus is simply providing extra room for social media, streaming video services, or anything else you want to keep in sight while keeping my most important apps up top. When I'm gaming, the main screen is where the action is at while having Discord and YouTube open down below are great for chatting with friends and staying entertained during loading screens. And if I'm working, the screen pad is perfect for stuff like Slack that don't require constant attention. Also, because the screen pad plus is configured in Windows as a generic display, that means you can use keyboard shortcuts to quickly move apps from your main display to the secondary screen or snap them side to side as needed. Is it as good as having a full second monitor? 
No, not quite, but it's enough to make things a lot more comfortable. Now onto webcam and sound. Supporting a 720p webcam with Windows Hello support, the Duo 16 makes it easy to log in using facial recognition. Unfortunately, image quality is mediocre at best. And as I've said before, all webcams on modern laptops should have at least 1080p resolution, especially on a laptop this expensive. Thankfully, the Duo 16 boasts a powerful six speaker setup with support for Dolby Atmos. So you get performance mode in games that focus on delivering accurate directional sound, along with a bunch of intelligent and preset EQs for movies and music. You even have the ability to create custom audio profiles, though I still wish the Duo 16 offered just a little bit more low end thump. While a base Duo 16 only comes with an RTX 3060 GPU, our fully loaded review unit features an AMD Ryzen 9 6900HX chip and an NVIDIA RTX 30 Ti, not to mention 32 gigs of RAM and a two terabyte SSD. So it probably won't surprise you when I tell you this thing is basically the fastest laptop we've tested this year. It notched top scores in Geekbench 5's compute test, 3D Mark's Time Spy Extreme, and more. Naturally, the Duo 16's gaming performance is also pretty strong, hitting 145 SPS in Shadow of the Tomb Raider on highest settings and 85 SPS in Metro Exodus on high. And that was with both games running at 2560 by 1600. So really, the only limiting factor regarding performance is how much you're willing to shell out for high-end components. I also want to mention that while the Duo 16 normally keeps thermals and fan noise in check, under full load, things can get a bit raucous. At full blast, you might even hear a high-pitched whine coming from the vents. That can get a little bit annoying. But you can always adjust that by going into Asus's Armory Crate app. There's even a custom fan curve setting if you want to dial things in manually. Alternatively, you can just put some headphones on and make the fan noise someone else's problem. The obvious downside to having a laptop this big and powerful though is weak battery life. With both the main display and the screen pad turned on, the Duo 16 lasted just three hours and 45 minutes on our local video rundown test. That's an hour and a half less than the Acer Predator Triton 500 SE and the Razer Blade 15, which themselves aren't exactly shining examples of longevity. So you better make sure you save room for the Duo 16's two pound power brick in your bag too. Look, with a base price of $2,500 that quickly climbs above 3K when well-equipped, it's gonna be tough to fit the ROG 16 in most people's budgets. On top of that, it's big, heavy, and short on battery life. But for people like me who constantly find themselves seeking more screen space, especially when out and about, Asus's innovative setup gives you more usable display area in less space than practically any other laptop maker. And while its keyboard and touchpad are kinda cramped, Combining big performance with a truly unique design, it sort of feels like we're seeing the evolution of the desktop replacement notebook happen right in front of our eyes. So even though this thing will still be a rather niche device, if you're looking for something to cure your dual screen FOMO, Asus's ROG Duo 16 does it better than anything else on the market. But that's about it for me today. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Engadget for more news, hands-ons, and reviews coming real soon.